for the first Premier League title. And Manchester United were relieved to leave Coventry with three points from a 1-0 win. Eric Cantona's defence-splitting pass might have sent Ryan Giggs onto an early breakthrough. But in the end, he delivered neither an accurate shot nor a convertible cross. A Gary Pallister header that dropped over the Coventry defender Lloyd McGrath seemed to open things up for Mark Hughes. But Phil Babb got close to him and Hughes toe-poked the ball wide of the post. United had certainly found Coventry in a determined mood, but the breakthrough finally came just before the interval. Paul Ince carrying the ball forward in the style of Brian Robson and finding Lee Sharp. And then Coventry's defenders perhaps too slow to respond to the danger presented by fullback Dennis Irwin, who packs a really powerful shot even from 25 yards. It wasn't difficult to sense the relief behind the celebration, but the match became notorious for an incident that flared up just before the end. Lee Hurst's challenge on Steve Bruce had angered the United defenders, and in the push and shove afterwards, goalkeeper Peter Schmeichel ended up on his back. Mick Quinn was the player adjudged to have committed a second cautionable offence and later shown the red card. Referee Roger Gifford's report won't arrive at the FA headquarters until tomorrow, but it seems certain that he will now acknowledge that he may have made a mistake in sending Quinn off. For United, the final whistle couldn't come soon enough. Three priceless points from one goal by fullback Dennis Irwin. The manager was ecstatic. Result at